Let's do a blind tasting of these two Diageo big hitters. Johnny Walker Double Black versus Buchanan's Deluxe 12-year-old, both blended scotch whiskeys. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quest. My name is Antonio. For all of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. For everybody coming back, welcome back. Yes. Uh, today, I figured I'd do a blind tasting between uh, one of my favorites here, Johnny Walker Double Black. Uh, this one's the one that got me into uh, pita scotches, so I owe it all to this one right here. And then Buchanan's Deluxe 12-year-old. Uh, this was donated to me or given to me in, the, uh, in one of the uh, other samples that I got from Martin from Mag57 underscore TX underscore Whiskey Guy. Uh, so he gave me this right here. Both are on the smoky side. So I figured, hey, let's do a blind tasting and see which one comes out on top. Again, Johnny Walker Double Black being my favorite of the two we'll see what this has to offer in a blind tasting Oof. like i said both from diageo so it's gonna be i'm assuming it's gonna have similar types of distilleries being blended in here since just making sure they're the same <laughs> Since uh, both of these are blended scotch whiskeys, meaning that they're a blend of single malts from different distilleries as well as grain whiskeys from different distilleries. The Agile having a huge portfolio. Uh, these could have well over 50 or more. Um, this one being no age statement in the bottle. So by law, it has to be a minimum of three years old to be labeled a, a, a scotch. So. I'm sure it has older, older stock in there, but this one is uh, 12 years age stated for the Buchanan's, which means that the youngest whiskey in the blend has to be at least 12 years old. So it could have older whiskeys, but I'm sure they're not going to go crazy on like a, a vintage, but you never know. So there's that. Uh, I'm going to hand these over to my lovely wife to mix them around, make sure we get a proper tasting. You go, babe. Hurry, my battery's dying. Hurry! Oh, the hands. <laughs> it's only two glasses. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. So, one of them. Uh, two painters tapes on the bottom, uh, one of them with a B, one of them with a J. So color on here, both of these have color added to them so we can skip it and, and they pretty much have the similar color. Uh, both bottled at 40% ABV, 80 proof there. And let's take a look at the legs on both of these. I mean, this one's running down a little bit more faster than this one. I'll uh, put this, I don't know, we'll see which one this is. I'll put a B for uh, Buchanan's and a J over here for the Johnny Walker. So you guys know which one's which. I won't know, obviously. So very interesting to see because, like I said, this is my favorite of the two. But let's find out what a blind tasting uh, shows me tonight. All right. So let's start on the nose with this one right here. Oh yeah, nice and smoky, but it's not like really a really strong smoke, uh, like peaty, peaty kind of smoke, but it's there. Orange peel, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee bean, nice and oak coming out, a little bit more smoky towards the back so very nice very nice light uh blend right there let's see what this one shows us on the nose 
a little bit smokier, maybe well, not as much smoky as this one's just a little bit more uh, like dense. I'm getting uh, this one's reminding me more of like a like a like a freshly turned out uh, fire. This one has more of a like a smoky barbecue kind of kind of thing going on. Very interesting, right there. Also, a little bit of citrus going on on this one, orange citrus. But I think there's a little bit more going on on this nose over here. Picking up a, a few more things than I am on this one over here. Maybe a little licorice also going on. Yeah, that's about it. All right, let's see what we get on the palette. Let's start with this one again. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Nice and smoky, peaty, peppery, chocolatey, orange going on. Also, it's an orange and an orange peel going on there getting that that barbecuey kind of smoke like liquid liquid smoke that you would uh, find in a barbecue sauce hmm. finish because of that PD flavor you know it lingers for a while but other than that everything else starts fading away uh, the mouthfeel, a little bit on the on the watery side, but not too bad at all. Not too bad. It has delivers a good punch of a uh, smoky flavor. So uh, again, not as much as you would get from like a like an Arbeg, you know, or a Lafroig or Lagavulin or whatnot. So perfectly acceptable whiskey to maybe start getting into it. All right, let me cleanse my palate here. And we'll taste the other one. Cheers, everybody. Not as much spice going on. The smoky flavor, it's a little less than this one. Actually, no. It's as, as it starts moving around towards the middle of the palette, it's just started coming out, shining through a little bit more, where this one was more in the front. A little bitter, like a dark chocolate. Yeah, really, really smoky all the way through. Uh, again, like a, like a freshly turned out fire. But I think I found a little bit more sweetness going on in this one. So this one right now is what I would hopefully is the Johnny Walker. Let's find out. Yeah, the finish is uh, also, you know, it's, they're both on the short side, I would say. But it's just that that peaty, smoky flavor is what makes it seem like it lingers for a while. But the, the other flavors, they start going away. Uh, I am getting a little bit more of an oiliness from this one. So that's pretty good. But still, I think I found a little bit more flavors, maybe a little bit, you know, complexity going on with this one right here. All right. I can't wait to find out what which one it is. So I'm going to say this one is my winner for tonight. Uh, this one right here, the price will uh, be going around... 40 to 45 dollars and you can also find this on sale for maybe around 35 uh, this one right here will sell for around 35 dollars and i i tend to find this on sale for a, a lot of times uh especially during holidays for 25 dollars so uh this one this one's uh, i guess you know a better better priced uh from this one but i don't know I don't know, something about Johnny Walker, but let's see. <laughs> let's find out 
which ones these are. So I'm gonna go with the least favorite here and see what this one was. Oh, this is the Buchanan Deluxe. Oh yeah! Johnny Walker, you're my only friend. Hmm. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, there was just a little bit more going on with Johnny Walker than there is with uh, Buchanan's. I mean, Buchanan's is not a bad whiskey. Again, it's uh, uh, you can find it for a little bit cheaper, uh, both from Diageo, but I, th I think, yeah, yeah, Johnny Walker offers you a little bit more for your money. And uh, hey, if you're trying to get into pita scotches and you don't want to go spending a whole lot for a, a single malt, like from Ardbeg, then uh, yeah, either one of these two will suit you well. Uh, it all depends on how much you want to spend, right? But both smoky, they will get you into it. Or you might just find out right there that it's not for you, and then you don't have to go spend uh, too much money on those other other smokier, uh, peatier scotches. All right, Whiskey Questers, that's it for today. I'm very happy with my results. Yes. All right, so again, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And again, giving me a like will help this channel grow. So please give me a like, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, cheers.